I'm going to uh, interview this uh, this girl today. Her name is Megan Flynn. She's a targeted individual like myself. And she doesn't live too far from Brookhaven Labs. And they've been bombing us with frequencies, heart frequencies, all fucking night. Been bombing me, that's for sure. You can see the frequencies. The whole sky is nothing but one harp hell sky. As usual. But all night it's been going. I've, <laughs> I've virtually had to live in the bathroom all night. The, fr the harp, the Brookhaven Labs harp frequencies have been so horrific all night. This whole sky is nothing but a harp sky. A Brookhaven Labs harp sky. Ain't one thing natural in this sky. Nothing. We got a we got some really dark shit hanging over my my place. <laughs> God only knows what's in those really dark clouds. They're all man-made though, I can tell you that. They'll do anything to keep me from uh, exposing this shit. I can guarantee you that. Yeah, you can just see all the harp. It's a total harp sky. Everything in it is chemicals and harp. And frequencies from hell. And it, and it feeds right into this uh, 5G nightmare shit they're installing everywhere. Actually, it, it feeds into the 4G as well, but the 5G is just a, a nightmare on steroids. Which is what I have to live with now, since they installed one in front of my apartment building. Harp is going freaking crazy today. So bright I can't even see out here. Uh, yes, uh, I'm in, we're in Sable today. I'm here with Megan Flynn. Is, is that an Irish name? Yes. <laughs> yeah. My name's Kennedy. Oh. So, Canada. Are you videotaping me? Canada, Kennedy. Huh? Oh, are you videotaping me? Well, yeah. Oh, okay. We're, 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 we're starting. <laughs> okay. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I'm here with Megan Flynn, and she's a targeted individual. She's been tar How long have you been targeted? I'm not even sure. I just, but I discovered that I'm targeted about Target. a week ago. Well, but I, I, looking back, it's at least three years. At least three Since years. Since moving out to Long Island, yeah. And, uh, and, and with all that that entails, and we'll get into some of that. But we're here in Sayville. Uh, it was was kind of a, a strange morning. We've had harp activity all day, uh, all morning. Last night the harp frequencies were ungodly. And, and you can see them blasting these frequencies all over the island. And then, and then as the day wears on, it just turns into a total whiteout or, or a, a, a blackout. I mean, it's getting very dark and overcast. But uh, all morning we've had just horrendous harp activity. I filmed some of it before, before I came. And uh, I, I've been filming this stuff for years, um, just trying to expose what, what crimes these people are doing to, to not, not only us, but, but to the American people. You know, we're, we're all targeted with this technology. And, 
you know, you, one one slip up and then you and you get put on a list and you you become a special targeted <laughs> targeted individual. But uh, so you say it's about three years you've been you've Looking been targeted. Looking back, I would say two two to three years. I, I moved out here from Brooklyn at three about three years ago. Years ago. And. Um, I think right from the start I was because I, I've had strange people bothering me in my condo complex since right. I've moved out here. Well, well, we, we both got the, the cop treatment just as we were walking here. The, <laughs> yeah. the minute the minute we met, uh, the the sirens start going off. Uh, oh yeah, and the, I the had Suffolk the, whole ride, the ride here. There were a few sirens going off and the usual white vehicles with uh, tinted windows like that and that car right there. That's I'm followed by that whenever I I can't even. Oh, there we go. We got we got one on both sides. <laughs> <laughs> But but we we had we had the uh, the sirens hit us yeah. the minute we got to the intersection, the Suffolk County cops uh, start coming and and we know there. I'm starting and, to feel like the celebrity I never and, wanted to and, be. And and we we know uh, we know they're uh, they're being mind controlled. Yes. The, they're they're using the mind control on, on the cops just like they are you and me. Right. Do, well, I think that's why that's like why they're. That they're doing this to make the, everybody against each other. Like they want the people against the cops, the cops against the people. They, it's just everything is fear based, and and it's, it, that's what they do. They terrify everybody into living into a society of total terror and fear. So I think that's what they're doing. And it's I, I spreading hate against the cops. I, I think they're putting their them in jeopardy. I think everybody is in a compromised situation right now, and I, I don't know how many people realize what's going on, but. Well, we, we had uh, uh, Suffolk County, I was at Occupy Wall Street, and we had Suffolk County cops coming up to us, telling us they knew they were being mind controlled. Uh, and this is at Occupy Wall Street. We had we had the cops telling us so, and so the cops are waking up, and we have uh, we have NYPD cops that know about it. Um, so, but I know. don't think they can do much because I think they're in it because even. So, um, they. Uh, um, you know, those those are the things that that, that happen. Is that uh, uh, the the cops become um, um, not necessarily your friend anymore because they're in an official capacity, and and they have to they have to act on certain things. And even though they know there's shit going on, and they they know things aren't right, and they know that they're being targeted too, there there's certain protocols that they have to follow. And so and maybe uh, we don't even know what we're going up against. So you, you they, um, maybe they're scared too. I'm sure, like everybody else, and it's it's a terrifying, terrifying situation, and and nobody knows how to handle it. I don't think, and I, I don't even think half the people know what's going on because they're so messed up. From I, I think there's. Uh, food is poisoned, our water is poisoned, there's fluoride in the water, it's all control. That's how they're controlling the, the chemtrails, the, the spraying, I think that's, and the cops are just the same as everybody else. And yeah, and, and somebody somebody told me it's a uh, it's a pacification of the cops. That's mainly, one of the main reasons they're, they're spraying and, and Poisoning the fuck out of us all right, yeah. is, uh, and especially the cops, is because they want to keep them under under wraps, right. under control, and because of the cops, some of them take their their duty seriously, right. and they 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 do believe in to serve and protect, and if they have to control them, right. But then there are also the other ones when you watch the videos of of them beating people in the street well, and, and and things like that. We, we don't know how much of that is real and how much of that is mind control too. That's that. that that is exactly right. That's when I, when you first woke me up with this mind control stuff. I, I totally believe that's what they, they mind control the police to do these things so that the, the public is terrified of everybody and it just just spreads hatred and fear. Yeah. And and that's how it's easier to control people when they're when they're filled with anger, rage, and fear. Yep. That's what they're building a society based on anger, rage, and fear instead of love and caring about other people and helping other people because that's uh, not their goal. I, they just want to control everybody. I, I, I think you hit the nail right on the head. <laughs> it's all about control yeah. and uh, they're going after the most basic uh, human um, fears and, and desires and, and feeding off of that. <clears throat> so so you definitely believe that uh, mind control is real? A thousand percent. And, and, and you have seen it I, I oh, oh. think I've experienced it myself. Oh. I'm experiencing it, and I see it all around me. Yes, every day. I think my family's mind controlled. I, I, I think 
um, it's fr it's frightening as it is. Yes, absolutely. I think the the first when I, I started experiencing strange things out in Colorado well, with my family, and and I didn't, I couldn't figure out what it was. They just were behaving oddly, and. Uh, it wasn't until I came out here and moved next to uh, to Brookhaven Labs, <laughs> I, I came all the way across country from Colorado, and I moved to a little town called Blue Point, New York, which just happens to be in the town of Brookhaven, right. where Brookhaven Labs is at, the, the largest uh, mind control lab in the country. And, and people need to do their homework about that place. There is some evil, evil frickin' shit coming out of that place. I. I, I lived I lived in Blue Point for it's a, a beautiful little place it's right on that right on the shore not far from here in Sayville uh, or, or uh, from Sayville but uh, the, I, I didn't realize how close I was to this these harp arrays no, no. Oh, okay. Sorry. Can't do that. Oh. Uh, excuse me sorry they ring my phone yeah, I get that too. They they, they ring my, all day long. If, if I leave my cell phone on, it'll be be rung. Only in the important times when yeah. we're doing something yeah. important. Yeah, and, and when, when we're saying something that they don't want to hear, because <laughs> uh, they, they with this technology, they can, they can listen and see everything. Oh yeah, and well, that's, I'm, I'm I know my phone my phone's tapped. I'm positive. I'm ninety nine point nine percent sure my house is bugged. Um, well, they don't, they don't even need to bug your house. They, with the technology that they have, they can just aim their satellites into your home and listen and see everything. Well, they cut and know everything. in my house. They've been inside my house. They've cut blinds so that certain things could get through. I know I didn't. All of a sudden, my blinds were split open. Like, well, uh, they'll, they'll do things just, just to fuck with you. Yeah. Oh, and things I, moved out. Like, my, uh, yeah. my key, like, I'd go to bed and my, key, my keys are next to my door. I go outside the next day. My car key is out in the grass, out in my house. So yeah. they had it. They have to come into my house somewhat. Yeah, I. And I, I'm positive I've been drugged. Like, in, well, we'll get to that in my sleep, like yeah. in my food or whatever. Okay. But um, there's, 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 there's a lot of things that these people like to do. They like to play head games, and it's all a psychological terror warfare. Is, is what it is yeah Logical warfare and, and, because they want to scare you into yeah. not saying a word because they don't want people to realize what's happening and they like I said they come in my car and they'll, they'll take little things just something little from my car and it'll be outside my door or move uh, yeah, yeah just, to, maybe, just to let you know just to know that they've been there <laughs> and that they have total access they can come and go anytime they want uh, I, things that I, I keep under lock and key I'll come in and I'll, I'll find the lock just dangling or something right. you know uh, nothing was taken uh, that I know of I have had some things taken I've but had things uh, but uh, uh, most of the time, it's just it's just to harass you. But okay, <clears throat> so we've established mind control is real, without a doubt. They're using it to to control and and, and terrorize people and, and get them to uh, to function from from a, a fear based instead of like you said a, a love based. Right. Well, the, I think it's the government wants to. Uh, it's new, new world order. They want a new world order, and in, in order to do that, they have to make everybody into their puppets, their their robots. They can control everybody while they get all the money, and everybody are their slaves. Everybody oh. works and, and, and works for them and makes no money, <laughs> and they get all the money, and, and they control everything. If you think about it, that's that's pretty much pretty much it. It's, it's just a, a society just, full of robots and just, slaves. Well, You're just just think about it. If you can control the mind of every human, you, 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 you can control everything. Yes. You can control the investigations into things like 9-11. Uh, you can control uh, uh, every criminal investigation there ever was. You can get uh, all, all our Supreme Court, our Congress people even, even. Are, are being mind controlled. Yep. They're passing outrageous uh, laws and regulations that we never would have ever dreamed uh, possible in this country. We got the, the 
the, hom the homo act. <laughs> I don't know any other way. I mean, they've legalized homosexuality in, in our country, and that, that is that. In no way does that that, that represent the American now, people's will. The Supreme Court legalized it. They're pushing it down people's throats. Yeah, and it, it's all. I think it's part of a satanic agenda. Abs I, absolutely. And, and same thing with our military. They're they're turning it into something I don't even recognize yeah. because I grew up in. You know, I the God was important in the military at one time, and. Uh, now we see a lot of uh, our generals flipping satanic hand signs, and it's with this technology, they can they can really bring about their satanic new world order. That's exactly what it is. And I believe that's exactly like you said. That's exactly what it is. Um, so you know, people say, "Oh, the new world order." <laughs> well, let me tell you something. If you, if you don't believe in a new world order, you just start watching your sky and right. you and you, police state. We're in a and police state, will, that's, and they're controlling the police to make it a police state, and. Terror, and, and even the they have the people that that blow up movie theaters, and they're all mind controlled. This is all part of the part of the thing to make these big things that terrify people, like like a guy that walks into the movie theater and blow, uh, blows fifteen yeah. people's heads off. We we, we we never saw those kind of things. We got gun 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 fights and shootouts. I mean, Washington D.C. experienced the highest cr uh, crime and in, 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 in shooting rate uh, in the history. This is back in the '90s, and look at what's happening in Chicago, mm -hmm. and and they're doing this purposely, I believe, to bring about this this now they're gonna make it rain over our heads oh, yeah I, I, <laughs> while I, we're talking about this i have i have personally had a personal rainstorms there's a cloud and, over and, my <laughs> uh, i'll walk i'll walk outside and i all of a sudden i start getting rained on it just starts ra raining magically it right. just it appears out of nowhere right. so um this is this is all part of part of their their total control uh and uh, <clears throat> so um so, who, so ultimately, who do you think is behind this this this, this evil technology? Um, just as you said, evil Illuminati. Um, I think. I go. I, I personally, I'm a I'm a believer in reptilians and <laughs> and aliens. I I've been reading and researching a lot about them, and I've also had some bizarre experiences and videos of weird things. And I do believe, like, uh, that there are evil entities that are not human that are also running this well you know it's funny that's one of the reasons i wanted to meet here in in sayville because i call this is the doorway to the gateway to harp this is people need to understand what's going on here at brookhaven labs and you talk about evil there's these uh, these uh, particle accelerators that they now have hooked up to harp uh, and uh, brookhaven labs has two of them just like cern does and they're opening gates portals to to hell, to hell. Uh, or other dimensions that we 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 don't know exactly what the what the hell is going on right. but you know i you see movies like uh, ghostbusters and you go <laughs> Maybe that maybe there there's some truth to this. Oh, I'm 100 percent. These dark clouds start coming in, and you go, what? And I have I have seen they can cause accidents on command. I have seen it myself personally. I, I just witnessed one not far from my house. So a, a woman did a somersault with her car uh, through the gas station. She hit the gas pump and, or the the gas pedal instead of the brakes. I mean these kind of things. I have seen. I have, I went. I I almost moved to Brooklyn. And before they apparently they didn't want me to move to this one part of Brooklyn, and uh, but I really liked Brooklyn, so I was looking at it's a place, and I had somebody, somebody came up and was ready to rear end me. I saw him coming in my my rear view mirror. I go, oh my God, he's gonna hit me! And, he, and she, at the last minute, he swerved, and he and, and and went around me and went through the intersection, hit and hit a head on right in front of me. Uh, this oh, is this wow. is in Brooklyn. Just totally destroyed his car and another car. I was so upset that this guy would would do something so crazy oh. to ju just run the run the red light, almost tail hit me right in the right in the rear end, right in the tail, and 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 go through go all go through the stoplight and uh, and cause a, a horrible accident. And I just sitting there watching and go, what the hell just happened? And so I I ease my way through out of that intersection, and I go down I go down three blocks. I see another horrific accident. A woman, a woman uh, took a brand new, beautiful BMW and, and went f 
flying up a, up a tree. She was hanging, the car was, was at about a 45 degree angle up up the tree and she was dangling out of the car her head and her, her arms hanging out of the car and, and the car was steaming and smoking and, and she just totally she she hit this tree I two horrible accidents I saw I saw in a span of less than five minutes and if someone doesn't believe something's not causing that then and, and so, so now, now I, I absolutely know I have seen it. I've had an accidents happening right in front of my house. I walk out in front of my apartment, and bam! What the hell is that? The minute, the very second, I walk out my door, and I walk to the front of my house, bam! And some woman hit this guy right in the rear end, t just T-bone him right in it, right. A nice, it was just a stop stoplight. There's a stoplight, just a normal p progression of people stop. She did. She didn't stop. Right. She just T-boned the guy and you know, the the woman, and she just had her new car, and she got so angry. How could you do this? And I'm listening to this insanity happening all everywhere. I mean, these people, these people are insane with power. They're insane with uh, with technology. They're insane with this evil evilness that they can do. They can literally terrorize. Uh, the hell out of you. Right. And, 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 well, I've, I've had to, and, a car almost hit me the other day. I was driving in the um, and it's, station and, and this car, a white I, I have, I, truck almost uh, smashed right into the front of me. I have come, when I go down to, when I, I still have come and pick up my mail here in Sayville, and I have to drive across island, and I see accidents happening all over the place, and go, what the, sh I have filmed so many accidents, it's unbelievable. The cops better wake the hell up. I don't know what the hell they're doing, but they're not looking at their sky. They are not looking at what the hell is causing this stuff, and today, it, uh, they sprayed all morning, and it just turns into this overcast shit and we, we get this all the time you see these bright spots and that's all your harp shining through there it's not the sun that's the harp it doesn't even look like a real sky like it, no it it's, not. Like it's, it's not it's real. not it's <laughs> not uh and i have filmed so much harp sky it's um, really unbelievable this morning it was horrible the frequencies all night last night uh, where i where i actually left Sayville, uh i moved from uh from Sayville because i just saw that i was too close to this technology and so I, I live in a, a little bit further up north now and I get a I get a panoramic view of Hart where I live now and it, it's uh, <laughs> I could see the big picture and I see every day the shit that comes out of this place the the frequencies the chemicals the nano I mean we, we have days that just this the sky is just pure fucking chemical yeah. excuse my language but I have no other way to describe it and, and and that's what happened that day of that accident uh, at, the, at the gas station it was just it was the chemicals in the sky were so thick you could cut it with a knife and this this is what they're doing to us this is what they're they're taking our our beauty of our sky our the nature and they're destroying it and turning it into their their satanic new world order which is what everything they're destroying our whole planet they're, yeah they're, they're destroying everything the the animals are, are being yep. poisoned yep. the people all so that they can control control humanity that's and, another thing i think they are controlling the animals as well uh i'm pretty i've witnessed it myself i've witnessed i'm I'm pretty sure. There, there's the sirens. Sure. Yeah, as you, um, I'm just, I'm desensitizing myself to the, even when I, people walk by me with the coughing and the noises, the nose, the movements, the hand gestures, everything. I've, I've witnessed it all. Um, oh, but I do believe they can control the animals as well. Oh, I, yeah. I'm, I'm positive they can control animals' responses to things and, and it's beyond. See, most people don't even comprehend like this this is so unimaginable to people like i don't think people can grasp this. yeah and i don't think pe when you even try to it, tell them they they can't deal with it like it's yeah. just too much for people yeah. some people are too terrified to even comprehend what's going on they, they don't want to it's change and it, it's it's too much to grasp for people so they check out in, in, exactly. in, in some I, way or another easier to just go along and be the robot than to accept that this th these evil things are running our world and and and, and destroying our world yeah so. and and they and they're doing this because people are checking out and they're not standing up to this right and i also think it's this too, with, with with the with the fluoride in the water whatever's putting on meat whatever's putting on food the gmo food it's that all contributes to whatever's chemicals are in it is is helping do the mind control 
It's keeping yeah, it's, everybody it's, it's, in a state it's, it's, of zombie. A zomb- they will, and, and the cell phones. So I'm, a, I'm a little guilty, but I read about it and I research things. On my oh, yeah, the smart, smart, smartphone around. zombies. Yep. Uh, in, in this, uh, this uh, 4G and 5G hell uh, is is what I mean. The the cell phones work on the same frequency as your brain. Uh, Harp works on the same frequency as your brain. All this technolo- technology was designed for one thing, and that's to control us and, and monitor everybody. Everybody's everybody moves. Every, no, no, your locations monitored, no matter where you are, what you're reading. That's that may be why I became targeted because I started researching things that maybe they didn't want me researching. And as soon as they see you looking into these things up oh, you're become a targeted individual you become a little bit of a threat to them because you you can possibly have the power to go wake up more people to to what's going on and oh. they don't want you to do that so they have to try and discredit you oh yes yes and w- once once they can discredit you uh, uh, in, in many ways mm-hmm. uh, which we won't go into right now but right. Uh, then then it, it's it's harder for for uh, for you to to be as um, influential, but they the, the people that know what's going on, they see as a threat. Believe me, that's why yeah. we have people like right here coming down in the in the pickup truck because they see us as a threat. That's why we we see through the veil of what's going on. That and we have the the power to possibly wake up people. I think people will wake up. Or, or, Something is going to happen. I, I do believe this. Well, well, most most of these these vehicles we've been seeing, I I believe that's mind control. Uh, most of it. I mean, we're we're not talking about perps on every corner. You know, before I found out about this mind control, I I was terrified. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I literally was terrified. I, I, I didn't know. I, I thought, you, you think the world turned against you. Right. I, I started seeing this stuff up in uh, Colorado. My, my neighbors started acting weird. Every time I'd walk out of the house, my neighbors would walk out of the house. I'd, I'd go sit on my porch. My neighbor comes sit on the porch. I said, what the? F-? I, I started really getting angry at my, my neighbors. Said, what the hell? What are you, just trying to harass me? Or Never in my mind would I have thought, they're being mind control. Right. I mean, who, 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 who in their right mind thinks that people were being mind control? But it wasn't until I came out here to this little town called Brookhaven, with the largest mind control lab in the country, Brookhaven Labs, that I started putting all the pieces together. Well, I also think too, with not just my, with the gang stalking. Which, well, that's what we're talking about, right, gang stalking. The gang stalking. I, I which is which is ninety five percent mind control. I'm, I'm all, yeah, but I'm also I'm followed by like in my condo complex what looks like gang members like it really and but they, they, like they weren't there the whole time they drive by very slow I was walking my dog and, and someone was walking up my street swinging a metal bat into the ground going here doggy 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 <laughs> um, my when I first adopted the dog I have now um, some man came out of nowhere he had a dog not on a leash the dog ran right up to us the dog was aggressive my dog well was, like we said that they can mind control the animals too yes yes i didn't know i guess but i'm, I'm see I, I still have a little bit of hard time comprehending all of it i'm, I'm not i'm not here it, it takes time to, to understand to, to see everything. to see but i also just, read that they stay gang members they have the red bandanas around the heads and stuff. Well, I, I, you live in an apartment complex, right? A condo, yeah, in, in Middle Island. Those are supposed to be some of the worst places to live. And I've talked to other other uh, uh, people who knew about this stuff. <clears throat> that um, that you, you're right, that they're the mafia. Yeah. That a lot of these people are the mafia. And like you said, they, they, uh, they will take... Um, Ex, you say expunge their their expunge record. Expunge the, the whatever criminal ra- record that with it, they'll take it away, and and you just I guess that's another form of control over these people too. Now they're controlling gang members. Yeah. <laughs> you, you do our dirty work for us, and we'll give you a few gift cards to uh, a few stores so you can get some pay, pay yourself. I I do believe there is that element in in the targeting. Well, they allow them to sell drugs or, uh, and without any, uh, you know, repercussions from get, or, or getting arrested or having police bother you. You're, you're, you know, maybe they're paid drugs. I have no idea. You know, even, even with the drugs, half the world is on opiates, which are prescribed by doctors. Doctors get vacation homes out of pumping people with opiates, and then they have people on the street getting arrested for it. So... But, but, you, but you also know that they, they, they want to try to make us... Uh, <clears throat> 
like you said, fear. Yeah. And want us to live in fear and terror and and, and be be paranoid that everybody's out to get us. Well, that's like and, in the news, when you yeah. watch the news, it's it's nothing but horror shows. Like, oh, this one was killed. This you're afraid to do anything because you think all well, that it's just totally pushing a fear-based agenda on people. So everybody is scared of. And then the thinking, oh, we can't call the cops. The cops are going to come beat us into the ground. They're po posting. If you look on Facebook, all these videos of of police beating people and. I just saw one today of a, a guy a guy got his head blown off and they're still handcuffing his corpse like it, it was just totally bizarre and that's again I what you said I, I do believe the cops are being mind controlled uh, of course why couldn't why wouldn't they they eat the same food they breathe the same air they drink the same water yeah they it's, get pumped with the same medications especially the cops are being mind controlled uh, and it's part of a the pacification uh, program these people have uh, their agenda to control everything and they got to control the cops first yeah. so uh, the cops are waking up like I said we had people we had cops Suffolk County cops coming up to us at Occupy Wall Street telling us they were being mind controlled and I mean that really blew my mind when right. you know and when, when they're coming up telling you that and we I have friends that uh, that are neighbors to to and why I get the horns all the time do you get horns yes I get all these things, all these bizarre noises. Oh yeah, I get dogs barking when I walk out of the house or everywhere I go. My neighbor's dog upstairs, my dog from the side, everywhere. I, I get the horns because, because especially when uh, when I walk in or walk out of a place, I get the horns, oh. and, and, and it's mind control. Okay. I know for a fact they're just beeping people or uh, zoning in on people to get them to honk their horns, and uh, it, it's it's. When, when I first started re realizing this, I was so sad to, to see what what they are doing to people. Oh. It, it was I was I was when you start I was this, your whole world I was yeah I was down. I was you horrified. Like you live in a nightmare. Well, well, that's that's what we're living in is a nightmare. Once you realize the technology and the power that these people it's have, that people could, total, you never even could imagine this. Like, total control. It's, it's totally at, at, you. It's almost like you you're living in a movie, like it's something out of a yeah. sci-fi movie. Yeah, a, a bad movie. A bad bad. Sci-fi movie, yes. And uh, cars without hubcaps. <laughs> they do. But, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, yeah, they sensitize you to certain things. Everybody's a targeting. I think is a little bit different, where they sensitize you to, to certain things. Uh, but um, but yeah, I, I believe they're also using it in, in professional sports. I mean. E you know, you don't have to be a, a scientist to realize the power that they could have if they can control uh, the outcome of a sporting event and how much money can be made. Celebrities too. They're uh, all controlled. They're all whatever the MK Ultra. I mean, you, I look back at the Denver Bronco uh, game against uh, uh, here in New York, and it was it was it was. Was was it ridiculous? It, it was it was insane. I mean. Uh, uh, the uh, what, the, what was it? What's the brothers? The uh, Eli Manning. 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 Peyton yeah, Manning. Peyton Manning. He he threw all these interceptions. Never threw interceptions, and all of a sudden he starts going crazy, throwing interceptions everywhere, and the, and he just totally got blown out of the Super Bowl. And they were they were they were the favorites to win. So I mean I've seen that happen over and over. They can control the physical physicality of people. I believe they can cause accidents. Uh, with with oh I know they can cause them. I can get. I don't know. I don't know that the total depth of this technology. I just know that it, it's extent. I think we're it's all extensive. Supercomputer. Well, and, well, that's and that's so exactly what it is. It's it's. Uh, they're uh, they're trying to. Um, they can read our thoughts. They can read our thoughts. Um, it's. Uh, and put thoughts into our head. And make people <laughs> completely act bizarrely. I've seen it. Well, it's uh, they're digitizing us. That's the word I was trying to think. Of. They're digitizing us. They're digitizing our reality. They they wanted to make they wanted to create a re a world that they can control just like a computer. Right. They can control everything around us. They can control us, uh, the animals, the people, the events that transpire. They can control it all through just through 
their quantum computers and in, in putting us into this matrix this this quantum matrix that these these freaking uh, uh, particle accelerators and Brookhaven labs are, are developing this technology with HARP and it's it's all connected to I'm HARP. I'm close to the Brookhaven labs. Middle Island is right there, right? Well, uh, that, I, think, I think that is the key, the key to your targeting. Right. Right there is Brookhaven labs. Right. And well, also, you know how I, I told you I was, I've been looking into <laughs> and had weird uh, alien experiences. They say that when I was researching, they say that there, there has been sightings of UFOs directly over Brookhaven Lab. I, I <laughs> which well, a lot of people think that Brookhaven Labs is part of Area 51, and uh, a lot of these uh, so-called national defense national labs <laughs> uh, have have uh, serious ulterior motives, uh, and um, they need to be investigated. They need to be shut down. They need to be closed. So, what what all what all do you know about Brookhaven Labs? Do you know anything? I don't know much because you, you're just the one that <laughs> I had brought it to my attention. I had no idea even Brookhaven Labs existed. I had no idea. I've only been researching this stuff for the past week when I found out and contacted you. That's how I found you from looking up targeted individuals and chemtrails and luckily I came across your number. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah I get the dogs everywhere. Yeah, here's another one. This one was just walking behind I, us. I, I have I have the I have a really really sweet dog. And so I get I get the dog the dog gang stalking. But uh, that it's 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 just mind control. It's totally mind control. And I it's they just find things to to fuck with you. Uh, and they know you you you, you like dogs, you, you so all of a sudden and you own a dog, so you'll start having dogs show up everywhere. It's just another way to, to harass you. Is that but how do they get like the cars to drive like right behind? Like is that just the just to, like I have ram, well, ram Dodge Ram trucks well, driving that's, right that's up That's to... part of the satanic, you know, with the Dodge Ram. It's it's a satanic symbol. Oh, the Ram. Yeah, yeah. the Ram. Paul McCartney on Ram. Uh, you look at all their, their satanic, there's a reason that the Dodge chose that symbol. Uh, a lot of your your car companies are invo involved in this satanic matrix. and yeah. uh, you, you start to do Illuminati, whatever you want to call them. Well, even in, in all the music videos, there are Illuminati symbols, the eye, the yeah. all-seeing eye. Um, a, a lot of your, you look at Taco Bell, you look at the bell. It's, it's got an eye inside it and 666 all the way around Taco Bell. I never even noticed that. Yeah. I stopped eating Taco Bell. Yeah, oh, I, I think it's probably loaded with nothing but nano, oh. nanotechnology. And they get us with the chem, with the chemicals, with the, with the, the, the food, the GMOs, I, McDonald's. Did you hear um, McDonald's uh, CEO slipping satanic hand signs? What the? And, and we want to go eat there? They're flipping satanic. You, I'm serious. The, the CEOs of, of McDonald's, I've got them on my Facebook, my blog, are flipping satanic hand signs. Our, our president's flipping satanic hand Our four star generals yep. flipping satanic hand signs. Yep. I, I lived up in Telluride and we had Norman Schwarzkopf moved up there. And, and what does he put on, on, on his front gate up, up a, in a beautiful place? Like a skull. What's a skull? I mean, so I mean, this this is the kind of um, leadership we have. Yes, our, our government, uh, uh, they're all uh, they're all evil, satanic. I, I, I get I get a lot of the trash trucks because if you re, re watch my video, I, I call Colin Powell a piece of trash. <laughs> <laughs> so everywhere I go, I see trash trucks. Uh, <clears throat> But uh, this this is this is the kind of technology that we are dealing with, folks. It's very real, and and you better come out out of your cloud, come off your cloud, and start looking at the things they call clouds. Because everything, and what they do is they'll spray and they'll spray and they'll spray and they'll spray, and then it just turns into overcast like this. And that's when they can really hide hide the the heart frequencies is in the. Uh, the fake storms and the fake clouds yep. and all winter long we got bombed with nothing but fake storms fake fog fake rain uh, fake snow and and you could I've become so sensitive to these frequencies I, I, I know I know when we're being blasted with harp and this is a very dangerous place 
to, to live here on Long Island, uh, living right next to Harp. And people think the Big Harp is in Alaska, uh, Gascona, Alaska. I think that's a that's a, a decoy, a ploy to take the attention off the real Harp, which is right here in Brookhaven Labs. It's the biggest population center on the East Coast, and this it's all about mind control. And these and also people, be, as being a TI, I think we get blasted a little more. Than oh than yes, else. we become very <laughs> sensitive. We, we we find out what the, what is really going on right. uh, being a TI. So uh, I've been a TI for over 10 years. Um, I just I got involved in some political stuff, and uh, okay, yeah, here it is again. Yeah, here it is again. But so you know, and, and, and people say, "Oh, that that just sounds crazy," but you have to see it over and over and over and over, and it, and you know you know it is very real uh, the technology that they have <clears throat> so I, I also know for a fact that it's social engineering that's really really one of the biggest things about this satanic new world order is they want to be able to control us it's total control you ever get to watch the movie they live have you ever watched no, that movie what's that? Uh, you never watched the movie no, I, I oh, it, it's, it's on my, my uh, my Facebook. I'll send you. I'll send you a link. Uh, it's also on, on my videos. If you check the comments on my videos, okay. uh, and you'll see it. it's it's a great movie. It talks about. Uh, it's it's all about social engineering. Uh, how they want us uh, to all fit a certain mold, a certain agenda. They want us all married. They want us all with kids, a pack of kids, because we're much, much easier to control when we go talk about being a slave. You, 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 uh, you, you, you're much more of a slave when you have many hungry mouths to feed and, and you don't have time to be exposing right. the New World Order. It's the same thing, too, with religions. It's not, I, I personally believe in God. I, I, I've always believed in God. I was raised Catholic. Catholic, but I believe that that it, it's just the religion is just another way to control people and separate and divide and cause conflict among everybody. For for these people, yes, um, and I think that's part of the satanic New World Order agenda is to turn our our, our churches and our our religions into a, a tool of control right. instead of a tool of uh, of worship and free will and uh well even look at the, the, the cases of pedof pedophiles in the catholic church oh, and yeah. i mean it's it's pretty that you don't they they seem so there seem some satanic things going on in there as well oh yeah and totally of, yeah i don't know if you've ever heard of pizza gate it's um uh, it's the pedophiles it's exposing all the pedophiles the illuminati pedophiles that's why they're pushing all this transgender gender uh fluid gender nobody even knows how does a three-year-old boy think he's a girl? Like it, it, it's it's totally twisted. That I don't even. <laughs> well, just like Obama. I mean, I mean, if you look at look at why um, Michael, or Michelle, or Michael, whatever you want to call her, uh, was put in it. That, that's her. that's part. Of, that's all part of the satanic agenda. It's part of this. Uh, I call it the demoralization of America uh, to get us to accept anything. Like like that's what how they they got the women to go have to go to work in in, in instead of uh, staying home and taking care of the family. Uh, they they're, they're now another another paycheck, another a, a tax source for for the the, the oligarchs or the the elite well, or whatever survive. you want to call. Families can't survive and, based on what yeah, they're oh, coming. Oh from. yeah, uh, my I grew up you know with six kids in our family and my mom stayed at, stayed at home. Yeah. She could that could never happen today. Yeah. Uh, it, it's just so outrageous and they, they created that the women's lib movement the CIA created. Uh, now now the transgender and gay movement uh, and that's it's all it's all part of this demoralization uh, process of, of taking America out, away from God the, the real God and. and bringing these these people think they're gods they can control the, the 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 weather they can control our minds they can control our reality and and they they, they literally think that they're gods um, so you know somewhere or another Even ruining the kids like pushing all these disgusting sex things on the in the videos and all the children are watching it it's, it's just disgusting perverted degenerate stuff that and, and, and warping the minds of our children as well 
growing up it, it, now they have the cell phones if you see if you play on those video games the 12 year olds are sending naked pictures of each other and video it's it's horrifying. yeah you could you have horrifying. you have porn everywhere on the, oh, on the internet yeah I, th I think they could even control people's people's minds to 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 be watch degenerate stuff like yeah. that and 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 control you sexually whatever yeah. you know stimulation or whatever it's called like uh, they can do that as well I, I agree. I, I think that's uh, it's all. It's, I, I call it satanic. I don't it, know any it's, other it's any other way. They're recruiting uh, the children to become evil satanic. Uh, I'm pretty sure, you know. And and, and it's it's it, a lot of it revolves around pedophilia and and uh, all these people, like even the church and stuff. It's it's pedophiles. There are pedophiles, satanic pedophiles, running our country yeah. <laughs> and our churches, and uh, it's pretty frightening. I think they have them placed everywhere. They, they, they have people in every in every position. Well, I think that's part of the uh, Freemasonry or whatever you want. Their their uh, system. Oh, Freemasons. Yeah. yeah their uh, their hierarchy that they have in place. Uh, so, but uh, so so you don't live that far from Brookhaven Labs, though, right? Yeah, I live in Middle Island, so um, uh, that's right near there, isn't it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's probably maybe that's why I became a maybe I, I don't know I, I'm not sure I, th I think I think we're all finding a common source of our targeting right. I, I moved to Blue Point in the town of Brookhaven moved all the way across the country and I moved to a little town called Brookhaven <laughs> uh, I don't think that was a, uh, just by chance and then uh, and then you live I lived in Brooklyn my whole life. And then but but I is, it, is it is it what town is it? Is that Bro is that Brookhaven? Yes, it is Brookhaven. It is Brookhaven. Yes. yes. <laughs> the town. I live in the town of Brookhaven. You live in the town of Brookhaven. Mm -hmm. well, I I think I've been all roads. They say all roads lead to Rome. All roads out here lead to Brookhaven Labs. Right. And if we don't if we don't start to do something about that criminal place, because this is a tool. This is their satanic tool. And you look at CERN. You look at Brookhaven Labs. You look at the evil evil shit these people are doing these they're opening portals they say gates to other dimensions gates to hell that's what CERN is doing and, and Brookhaven Labs is connected to CERN I it, I there's experts who, who have told me this that have worked on harp and, and know know what is going on out here at Brookhaven there's some evil evil shit going on out here and uh, if people don't start to, they should be protesting. They should be a line of a thousand people outside of that place every protesting day. every day. single freaking right day. That because there's the evil shit that is going on in that place is is really is beyond words. Is everything that we're talking about is being developed right there at Brookhaven Labs, and uh, Stony Brook University is part of it. But uh, you know, and you talk about how people can be corrupted so evilly to, to, to develop this kind of technology to use against the world. Yeah, they're to, using against everybody. To use it against America yeah. and to, uh, to turn it into a state of tyranny, mm -hmm. which I believe uh, is happening. And uh, if we don't stop it, if we don't stop it. Well, well Megan, I really do appreciate uh, oh, thank you. taking time. Thank you. I, I'm so glad I met you because honestly, I, I've had no, I, I've only found out about the t targeting and gang stalking a week ago, and I'm completely isolated by myself well, and I mean, my family a, away from me. So You, you knew about the targeting uh, and, and, and the gang stalking. I just don't think you had it in the right context as to how this stuff was happening and how it was being used against you. Right. And it's a technology based. Yep. Uh, you know, it's, there, yes, we, there are, there are perks. There is a mafia, uh, and, and you have to. I, I do know there are real perps out there. I've had, I've been targeted, and they do that purposely to keep you off kilter, to keep you scared, and they'll, they'll throw some real perps in there. But 95%, maybe even higher, is all mind control. It's all technology. <clears throat> well, that makes me feel a little better because uh, you know it, it is very upsetting to to, to realize that that you, you're you know because no matter what you are, but I, I now they have me isolated by myself. I'm a girl <laughs> living by myself, and it's it gets scary. Well, you know that that's one of the uh, the main. Um, uh, they say dem dem One of the main demographics of, of women of targeted of targeted individuals are single women. 
So I fit that. I fit that bill. <laughs> I'm not a single woman, but I sure the hell is, am targeted. I, I'm targeted because I go after these people, yeah. and I, I I go all the way to the top. And you'll see my letter from Colin Powell. You'll see the Clintons on, on my Facebook. Uh, and these people are very involved in this technology. The, the Bushes, the Bushes installed Obama. And they install Trump. Yeah. And if you look at uh, you look at read some of the art the uh, articles on my uh, on my YouTube, check the check the links, and you'll see that Donald Trump, his family helped develop Brookhaven Labs. <laughs> no Help, way. Yes way. Wow. He helped develop. Harp. A lot of strange coincidences. His 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 uncle uh, John P. Trump was an MIT scientist. Worked for uh, the CIA. Uh, he took all. There's 50 percent of Tesla's secrets have never been found. He took he took the majority of them and he and he uh, translated all that information and he gave it to the CIA. It's a scientific division of uh, uh, technology division of the CIA, and he, that's that's who that's who we have as a president. And uh, so he's very very involved in this technology. There was a reason he was put in here, just like Obama was put, installed by the CIA, by the, the Bushes. Uh, and you look on my Facebook, you'll see pictures of Daddy Trump with all of them, with, with Obama uh, and uh, with, with, the, with the Trumps going, the back, going back a long time. The Clintons, they're all filthy frickin' CIA pieces of shit. <laughs> Yeah. And I have no other words for them. They're yeah, evil. No. They're yeah. evil. The Clintons have have a place right out here next to Brookhaven Labs. <laughs> Joe Biden has a place right out here next to Brookhaven Labs. Yeah. Amazing. 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 It, it is it? amazing. Yeah, it it's is. amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, and they, they're using this technology. It's a it's a political tool to to wield to, to uh, against their opponents and to bring about this satanic new world order and you look everywhere you see the clintons with their their satanic hand signs and hillary doing the same thing the yep. satanic they're all they're all frick I don't, I don't know what has happened to america i really don't know well people better wake the fuck up because we're all gonna go out and and it's gonna be uh, chill everything people's ch a uh, whole world is gonna be wiped out a whole planet if people don't wake up and start realizing what's going on because it's a very scary thing. And we outnumber them. That's the thing. If everybody joined together, we could outnumber them and take back control. But it's the problem is getting people to realize this and, and making people understand what's happening because people don't want to understand it. Well, it doesn't even take all of us. It only takes a certain percentage of people to get some, some backbone and, 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 and say, no, we will not accept our skies being poisoned. We will not accept frequencies being blasted at us. Uh, well, they have to be worried. 724. If, if they weren't worried that we could, that people who are aware have the power to, to, to make a change, that all these weird things wouldn't be happening. We wouldn't be targeted individuals. There's a reason we are. It, it bothers. <laughs> Obviously, we, we they see us as a threat, and that's fine. Well, I I never was a threat to anybody. I, all I all I ever did was uh, did a little a because little. Because you know too much. Not a physical I, I, yeah, threat. Yeah. You know too much, and your you you and I feel the same. I've been researching this, and uh, I have other interests in aliens and stuff, and they don't like me researching that. So that's why I. That's another reason I believe I'm targeted. So. Well, you, you talk about aliens. I have a story about um, happened not too far from here. Uh, but because I think I wanted to, to touch on this thing with the aliens, okay? Uh, because you, you brought it up, and and uh, to me, my my opinion of, of aliens is that they're demons. Okay. Um, th that's my opinion. Uh, okay. Um, I think we're talking about demonic entities from another dimension or whatever you want to call them and, and I sent you some links to Brookhaven Labs that is very involved in this stuff right. um, but I I had a uh, you'll see a video on my YouTube channel it's about uh, uh, a hurricane in March look at watch it up okay. or, or, or check it out this is a we had we had a storm a, hurri a storm that was so unbelievable. It was a it was a hurricane, and it, it was it came in during March. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> came in during March. Now all we get all the noise here. All of a sudden, the skateboarders show up. <clears throat> but uh, a hurricane in March, and uh, it was uh, it, it 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 virtually wiped out a two-block uh, neighborhood, and you'll see it. 
Oh. A beautiful uh, Catholic retreat up there, uh, St. Uzula's. I don't know if you know where that's at, yeah. but if you get a chance, you'll see it. It's just Google Hurricane and March, and you'll see destruction like you've never seen before. And what what did, what did what did they have in front? It's a Catholic retreat, and I went to them and asked them to pray for me because I'm fighting this stuff. And 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 she said she would. She would have the sisters pray for me. Said, wow, that's great. And what happens? Uh, I go I look, and I look out front, and they have a, a, a picture of Saint Mary, or a, a statue of Saint Mary with her foot on a on a snake, on a reptilian. Yep, that's what I want to tell you. On a reptilian. Uh huh. The reptilians uh, are bad. The rep. Not all aliens. But bad. but they're demons. <laughs> This so, is yes, this is demonic. Yes, yes. We're talking about demonic shit yes. from hell, and I think that I think that's what you know. I didn't really believe in reptilians until this happened to me. And you look at you watch what happened to this Catholic retreat. It was leveled. It was leveled. You'll you'll see a picture. You'll see photographs. We're getting rained on here, so I'm going to have to end it here. Okay. But thank you, Megan. Uh, thank you. I appreciate much. your time. And this thank is very important that people come out and start to speak out yes. about what they have witnessed, uh, especially with this mind control being targeted. It is so important that we speak out and we stop this. Because yes. if we don't, God help America. Yes.